There was an update for the 1.4 beta. We're still on 1.4, but it's been updated to version 0.8.42902. Fixed a crash, fixed a major bug that caused the bus to get stuck in arcade mode. Or fixed the driver's lights in arcade mode, optimized audio performance as well as asset performance, optimized stop lane performance, optimized Scania citywide animations performance, as well as optimized ticket printing animation performance, optimized the UI performance, fixed passengers entering closed doors. There will be no more witchcraft, no more voodoo on the bus. Fixed falling street lights. That was actually hilarious. I sneezed and I actually plowed through a street light and it was uh, on top of the bus and I carried it like halfway through Berlin. It was pretty funny. Scania Citywide Destination Display now chooses the fitting abbreviations for the stop names. And that's it. Now, I'm going to turn off my camera because I need to preserve all the CPU power in the world that I can because I'm running this game on a potato. The only thing that I've noticed so far is when we go to choose a line and tour, as you can see here, we can always click any of these, no problem. This one we can click on, but it doesn't seem to work. It now grays out. I don't remember that from before, so I don't know if that's like a bug or something. Same thing with 38 here. All these ones we can click. No problem. No problem. But these three here, for some reason, I can't, I can't seem to highlight them. So that's something that I'm noticing that wasn't like that before. So we're going to go ahead and start here. 9 o'clock in the morning is good. I like when it's stormy. It's actually stormy where I'm at right now. I'm just going to shut up. And get to driving the bus. Really excited. Every time there's an update for a game I really enjoy, I don't know what it is, but it's exciting. It's like, ooh, is it going to feel different? So, yeah. Got lots of rain here. Okay. Let's check this out. Again, there might be a little bit more frame dipping when I'm playing the game because I have to also run my recording software and that puts extra pressure on my computer. All right. So far, so good. Let me just go ahead and punch this in. All of a sudden, the people magically know that I played with the computer. No one wants to buy a ticket. Everybody apparently has a bus pass. Bullshit! Let's see if I remember my buttons. It's been, what, two days since I've played? Okay. Windshield wipers park and break and let's do this thing let's go on a little adventure well so far so good this looks like outside my window except for the fact that I'm in Canada and not in Berlin but that's okay one thing I am noticing is when I stepped on the brakes pretty hard it didn't jitter like it did before Exactly. Yeah, this feels nice and smooth as always. The graphics are definitely better than Fernbus. I had a few people that said, oh, it looks like Fernbus. I mean, it does, but it's also half a frickin' decade newer. And I can tell. So far, so good. You never know. Sometimes updates tend to break things. And as I've mentioned so far, for the line route, for picking where you're going to start from, it appears as though 
A few of the destinations cannot be chosen. Whether it was like that before or not, I'm not going to lie. I just, I don't remember that being the case. On turns, it tends to lag a little bit. It didn't appear to do that as much on that turn. I'm just going to burn the red light so we can get through the route. Just going to play for a couple of minutes. I really love the reflections of the rain. It's just so good. Like in real life, I love storms, rain, all that stuff. Lightning, thunder. I don't think I've seen any lightning or heard any thunder in this game yet. I don't know if there will be any, but there's a picture of it when you choose storm. Right now, this just looks like rain to me. The audio is really nice, too, in this game, and, and I mention that because, with all due respect to Fernbus, it's the only game that I play where, for some odd reason, I get the odd little crackling sound. Here and there, as I'm talking, playing the game, sometimes I'll get a bit of a... You know, that's a terrible vo voice impression of what I'm going through. And it's a very subtle sound. It only happens every other, you know, minute or so. It could be a little bit distracting. I don't get that in this game, so that's great. And again, the visuals are, in my opinion, much nicer than Fernbus. And the game runs better than Fernbus. So go Fig looks better, and it runs better. Fernbus, I get, you know, the odd dip here and there, but... That's not the game's fault. That's, you know, I'm running a seven-year-old computer practically, except for my graphics card, which is the only piece of hardware in my computer that's not ancient. It's an RTX 2070 Super. It's uh, really nothing all that extraordinary, but it's a huge step up from the GTX 970 that I was running with beforehand. I think we'll do one more bus stop and we'll call it the day. Didn't want to have this video be too long. I just kind of wanted to do a two-in-one, talk about the update briefly, get to the point on that really quick, and then show off some gameplay and immediately talk about if I notice anything out of the ordinary. And I have, subtly. And I will send them some uh, feedback through the game about that. That it could just be that it was always like that. For not being able to choose those routes I showed you in the beginning. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Yeah, see when I slam on the brakes it used to really kind of lag a little bit. I would lose a couple of frames. And I'm not getting that now. So that's pretty neat. No one has wanted to purchase a ticket from me. There's no way all of you have a bus pass. I'm not buying it. All right, maybe just a little bit more. I want to do this big wide turn that I normally lag at. The bottom left is my frames per second counter. Locked and loaded at 30. I'm going to burn the red light again. It's a game. I own the road. Are we still at 30? We are. That was actually a very smooth turn. So for my computer at least, turning is smoother. Slamming on the brakes when going fast is smoother. I'm liking it. This is awesome. Some very nice progression. I mean, overall... Oh, mamma mia. That... That was close. Holy hot sauce. That was something else. 
Did you see that? I hope you didn't record that. Put your phone back in your pocket. <laughs> oh. Yay, someone wants to buy a ticket. What? I think there's another glitch. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that's funny, but it is. They paid nothing. Well, that's not good if they paid nothing. Okay, so they did pay $3. Normally, you can see it before you click on it. That's why I'm laughing. So it did technically work. It was just a minor little detail. Single. A, B. Oh, there we go. I thought I clicked on it. Puff. Magically vanished in her pocket via Shin Lim from America's Got Talent. If you don't know who that is, look him up and you'll understand. Deactivate interior lights. Deactivate interior. Oh, it was my mouse cursor that was on there. I was like, what is going on? Okay, that's actually kind of funny. I thought that was a glitch. And I'm also on a lack of sleep, so I'm a little bit weird right now. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for me. I mean, I'm going to keep playing, but I'm going to leave to you. I'm going to leave <laughs> the rest of you. Wow. Hanging. As you'll never know how this ends. And I will probably update some more footage a little bit later. I want to do a uh, a map run from side to side to kind of see how long it takes to drive right across the map. Probably do that uh, either later today or tomorrow. So yeah, this is good stuff. If you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. As always, that would be greatly appreciated and it does help me become more relevant in the search results actually when people are looking things up online it helps with the algorithm and if you didn't like the video go ahead give it a thumbs down and as always i'll break it off and i'll make sure that when you look inside your wallet the next time you get zero dollars because i'll take all your money you won't even see it vanish it'll be like that ticket that just magically appeared in that woman's pocket and if you want to subscribe to the channel, well, I mean, of course, that would be appreciated now, wouldn't it? But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.